The Olin World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 181 To Danger. Where are we going? Maple asked, panting slightly and favoring a cramped leg as she chased Valet through another corridor in the fruit loading depot. The bat pony was slowed by Tarfeather's bound form, wiggling and protesting against its gag. Eh, he is fine. Abruptly, Valet flopped down on the floor, leaning casually against the wall and wiping her brow. Huh? Maple squinted. Illuminated entirely in teal from Starley's horn, Valet shrugged. Here, where are we going? She pulled off Tarfeather's gag with a wing and set about lazily unbinding his limbs. Sorry about that, buddy, she mumbled as she worked. I might have put off planning a bit too long there, and when stuff happened, you were the best scapegoat around. How many hard feelings did that earn me? Grainwave had long since left to seek out her patrol, leaving no ponies around who were supposed to be catching fruit thieves. Tarfeather sat up warily, as if he nevertheless expected two dozen armed goons to jump him from behind a hidden doorway. When no attack came, his eyes narrowed. I still don't like you. Eh, I'll take that as an eight out of ten. Valet munched on another banana, offering his mostly deflated pack back with a hoof, keeping one wing clasped at his side. Seriously, it's your own fault for being unlucky. Next time, try not to run into me. Taking the pack and opening it, Tarfeather looked up forlornly with more than a hint of anger. After all that trouble, you ate my bananas again? I did? Valet peered in over his shoulder. Nah, there's still a bunch left. One bunch, Starfeather complained. You tied me up and dragged me all over the place for this? Really? Yeah, that's just how I apologize. Flay stretched, rubbing her stomach. If it makes you feel better, they were delicious. I can't believe you're worried about that at a time like this, Maple murmured. Starfeather stepped backwards, glaring. Screw you, he said before winging away into the darkness. Wow. Talk about ungrateful, Valet giggled once he was gone. Seriously, we probably got him off his tail, too. Maple sighed loudly. Well, whether it was stealing or not, you did just take something he worked hard for. He probably doesn't see it that way. Eh, I was hungry. Valet stretched her wing, revealing another bunch of bananas stashed underneath. I'm full now, though. Want a banana? Before Maple could say anything, Starlight interrupted with a groan, sweating beneath the light of her horn. Can we hurry to wherever we're going? My horn hurts. Maple was instantly at her side. Put it out then. We can find our way in the darkness. You don't need to hurt yourself, okay? Actually, we totally can, Valet agreed, looking over Maple's shoulder and pointing to her slitted eyes. Seeing in low lighting, remember? Stick right next to me and we'll be just fine. How are we supposed to do that if we can't see you? Starlight asked, horn dimming to the bear's flicker. Valet hummed. Eh, you can ride on one of our backs and iron flanks can hold my tail or something. Starlight, Maple sighed. Are you fine with that? My leg still hurts, so I don't think I'm ready to carry you yet. Starlight shrugged, rubbing her forehead with a grimace. She can carry me. Ow. Maple pursed her lips but didn't protest. A moment later, she felt something tickly and hairy brush her muzzle. You coming? Valet's voice asked in the darkness. She carefully bit down, following the guide at a gentle pace. Where are we going, she asked around a mouthful of fuzz. Oh, somewhere. Valet... Eh, fine, Valet grunted. I'm still deciding, but I'm pretty sure we should just bail. Between me, Banana Boy, and our cute friend from earlier, those lemon bags should have, like, three things to chase that either don't exist or are getting out of here. You two are maybe a little more work to bring along than I'd hoped since you can't fly, so I kind of want to just call that good, go find that tunnel, and smooth talk our way through DK's base. Unless you're still super duper opposed to that idea. If you promise not to let anything bad happen to us, a maple fought back a sneeze. I guess it makes sense to go in the direction we want to if there are guards both ways. You take this guard thing too seriously, Valet chirped. Someday, I'll have to dunk a whole compliment right when you're watching to get you over that fear. But in the meantime, let's go. Some distance away, in another part of the depot, a gold-coated pegasus with a wavy mane fluttered her wings in agitation, trying to explain to a band of nearly a dozen vigilantes that there was, in fact, a party of spirit ponies using the facility to conduct a secret underground meeting. 
I told you, Green Wave insisted. I don't know exactly which room. I heard him through a ventilation shaft. It sounded like they had heard us through the feet banging around and were sending some ponies out to investigate. But you were unable to apprehend the criminal we were chasing in the first place. I see. Non sequitur adjusted his hat downwards so that more of his eyes were covered. These new clues can only mean something greater than even I had suspected in the hoof. Well, yes, but, sir, Greenwave stammered, when I caught up to him, he had already been caught by valet. I know better than to fight with that, sir. Non sequitur rubbed his chin. So you do, so you do. Admiral Valet is my arch nemesis. You're wise to avoid her. Unfortunately, we have no intelligence concerning whether she's on the thief's side or sees him as competition. It is useful, however, that we have two separate clues informing us she and our present target are not the same pony. Look, I didn't volunteer for conspiracy hunting, a burly stallion said from the sidelines. What is it you want us to do? Another nodded. What he said? And make it quick, because I'm starting to feel a little nervous if this place has ponies like Valet and the spirit in it. We're not exactly armed. I heard that, Amir added. You said you would be up against maybe one-armed fruit thief at most, not some pony infamous like Valet. Also, a uh, four phrased the hoof. Can you talk normally? That's starting to get annoying. Non sequitur frowned. What, my vocabulary? Detectives always talk like this. Although, the evidence does seem to suggest that our best course of action was... FUD! The chunky stallion who had spoken was nearly bowled over by a speeding black pegasus who reeled back from the collision and nearly hit the floor. Uh, oh, What have we here? Non sequitur leaned closer, snatching the fallen tar feathers bags. Aha! You're the fruit thief, aren't you? It seems justice has been given a great... Uh, victory. He trailed off, looking inside. You went to all the effort of going up against me to steal one single bunch of bananas? I hate everything, Tarfeather said, sprawled miserably in the concrete. Greenwave eyed him carefully. That's the Pegasus Valet had, yes. Well, what are you waiting for? The feather in non sequitur's head bobbed frantically. Time up already. As the ponies around him made to do so, he held his chin once again, musing. In light of this good fortune, the best course of action may be to quit while we are ahead. Ponies, he barked. You are correct that we are ill-equipped to handle a potential conflict between Admiral Valet and the Spirit of Sosa if one is, in fact, set to occur. Let us take this criminal and return to Dangerous Karma's headquarters to inform him of what we found and allow justice to be served and let him determine how best to handle the situation. It is he, after all, who holds the greatest stakes, and we are not by volunteers in the pursuit of justice. Happily murmuring, the headland ponies lined up and began following him towards the tunnel, the Grand Acorn proper. Hmm. A shadowed pony stared up at the parked fruit transport carts in the loading room, thinking carefully. Anyone who's not as nutso as me would never make it from Blue Leaf in this rain, and there's no way they could have flown like I did either. So they must have hitched a ride on V's. He produced a dormant, magically charged gemstone and rubbed it thoughtfully. Come on, bro, just pick up. I know you were them. I got a signal less than 30 minutes ago. Why the silent treatment, huh? The stone didn't respond. Yeah, he huffed, ducking it away. Well, if they're going anywhere, they'll probably head through Old Stallion's Karma's place first, so let's see if I can head him off at the tunnel. Geronimo! End of chapter 181